first time since I made a proper video on YouTube in ages, absolutely ages. We're up early, both tired. Every week that you get closer, more and more fatigue creeps in. It wasn't even four weeks ago that we had a chat about whether or not we could do a show. The better I look on here to you, the worse that I'll feel. I'm definitely kind of in the depths now where my brain fog's high, fatigue's high, legs are draggy. Men's classic physique champ, Lewis Winchery! Welcome back. Welcome back. It's been a long time. Lots happened, lots changed. So, I'll, I'll start off from where we left off and then I'll carry on through to where we're at, okay? So we can catch you guys up on what the crack's been, where we've been and what we're going to be doing. So to start with, obviously the last video you'll have seen, if you haven't seen, go back and watch it, was the regional show day video, which we won the overall. <laughs> Epic video. Two weeks after that, we obviously went to Spain. Um, I'll let guys show you what happened in Spain. We turned pro. I'm now an IFBB pro, which is pretty freaking cool. That was like a, my lifetime goal, <laughs> which sounds crazy, um, but we finally achieved it. So now, and we do, I do have, and I've shown Gaz, me and Gaz have finally been able to get together after a long time today. So I've shown him a lot of the footage that I have got from Spain. I'm gonna send it to him today. If you can do anything with it, we will put some bits out from the pro card win. So maybe something will come out. But today then, why are we back on YouTube? We're back on YouTube because I am going again. I'm hooked on this shit. Um, basically, after turning pro, I had a look at my schedule for the rest of the year. We went into a reverse phase um, for the last couple of months. Everything's been going well. My body's been responding well. And I want to crack it. It's as simple as that. I would rather go into a pro, a pro show, into the pro le leagues and lose and find out exactly where I am, find out exactly where I need to improve, how I need to be better, what I'd need to go off and do in the off-season following, rather than me going into an off-season now and not having a visual perspective for myself of how much I need to improve. So this isn't about me winning. This isn't about me actually gaining an Olympia qualification, although I'm going to do everything in my power to do that and be as good as I can be, and I am going to try to win. I understand the reality of this being my pro debut, the first time on the big stages, the first time against this caliber of athlete, and the first time that I've been able to weigh this amount and treat a prep like this, because this is going to be very different. So we're going to document it, because now I'm not having to scrimp and scrape like the lap last episode you saw on the last series we filmed of me making weight. I've now got a lot more, I can be an actual total of eight kilo heavier on stage um, till I hit the cap, so that's massive. So this prep's not necessarily about just dieting down and, and making weight. It's about bringing the best physique that I can and me being able to showcase a better physique for this year. Because although I won my pro card and I was happy, I can definitely still look better. So today, we're going to introduce you back into the YouTube. We're linking up with Kenny again. We're going to go and hit a chest and arm session. Not really any better session to be hitting on the first session back, is there, with the pump? Get an absolutely mad pump. And then just take you along the day and get straight stuck back in with what we were doing before taking you guys along the journey showing you guys the physique progress setting some mad goals having some mad training sessions you know what we're about so we'll kick start today off it is saturday the 23rd of september 12 minutes past nine i'm gonna get my pre-meal made my post meal made we're gonna head to kenny's and we've got a big sesh so should be a good episode in store for today. And we'll show you what I'm looking like at what is now today, eight weeks out from the first show, which will be in Prague. So exciting times ahead. Look forward to you all coming along the journey with us. Back in the same spot, doing the same shit. You'd have never guessed. Make my cream of rice. Won't be a YouTube episode right, would it? Very exciting news. So, since you last saw me, 
obviously I was working with Conte, which I just want to say on the video now, I still have a fantastic relationship with Jack and the guys at Conte, and the amount they have supported me and helped me, I will support their brand forever. We still have an amazing relationship, and this was a move that I spoke to them about, and we all agreed was a fantastic move for me. So, if you don't know, get to know, ESN. ESN are now in the UK. You may have seen them around, people like Urs, the Miracle Bear, Wesley, other classic bodybuilders sponsored by these, because their products are freaking mint, and you can get them in the UK. We will put the link in the bio for you to check them out. My code is Lewis. Good news is about the discount codes on this as well. It doesn't just give you 10% off. It will give you the best discount deal at the time. So you'll save the most amount of money using my code. So use my code and you will actually save. Um, it's not for me, it's for you guys. So I've got a load of new products to test, to trial, to let you guys know what I think. I have been using this. I'm going to put some um, on my cream of rice. I've been using this and banana split. This has got um, cereal pieces in it. Do you know what it's like? It's like the Lion Bar cereal. My cupboard is now stocked up. We will do a full um, supplement video at one point about all the supplements that I'm taking, using, but from health products to protein powders, um, intras. The good news is, is that they have everything that I need in one place. So now, I'm able to get all of my health products to make sure my organs are all in check, get all my digestive stuff, get all of my intra workouts and performance drinks and stuff, all of my whey proteins, all from one place and it is all top, top quality. So it's definitely going to be a bit of a step up moving to the pro leagues, having these guys behind me. And I've not got any bananas. Idiot. So go to ESN, use code Lewis basically, that's what I'm telling you to do. And buy some sick protein. A lot of people have said to me, what's going to change now you're pro? And the funny thing is, is nothing. Like, absolutely nothing. Like, when you found a, a, a working formula, which I have, I know what foods work for me, I know what I like to eat in prep, you know, I know what digests well, I know what routine's good for me. There's absolutely no point in reinventing the wheel. I might as well just carry on doing the same things that were successful in the amateur ranks that, that got me to where I needed to be. Um, but just doing that consistently, you know? And as long as I can keep putting in that same level of effort consistently like I have been doing, I genuinely believe that I'll be able to work my way up, you know, the ranks in the pro leagues as well, just from doing the same stuff. So the, the, the true key to success with your physique development, even if it's for stepping on stage or not, is, is genuinely just consistency over time. Finding something that works for you, routines that work for you, foods that work for you, you know, a training schedule that you can stick to, and then just doing that over and over and over and over and over and over again and just not stopping doing that. That will ultimately be what gets you to where you want to be. Even now I'm prepping for a much bigger show, much higher standard, with much better competitors, what I'm doing won't change. And that's two meals done. I'm training earlier today, be it a week, it's a weekend, and it means we can have more chill time on the evenings. So. Get that all mixed in there. Mix it perfectly. Microwave for 30 seconds. Bish bash bosh. Winging it, the scales, my scales have just broke man. At the exact minute that I needed to do, uh, you have milk. They've just come back on. Is that a joke? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Pre will go in there, then my intro will go in there. I'm on the, I'll show you this when I make it. Lemon iced tea. But the top needs to charge in there. <sighs> <laughs> need to charge in <laughs> Not. We're not prepared for this YouTube video today, guys. We're not switched on, bro. Okay, so now we're waiting for that to load. I'm in my little corner in my office desk. Thick clothing have been nice enough to set us up with a code on the website. So if you are a bodybuilder or you are wanting any training clothes, t-shirts, sweatshirts, vests, hoodies, anything like that, even bandanas, then head over to Thick and use our code ASCEND10, which we're going to talk to you about because me and Kenny have got a, have been on a new venture since the uh, 
in Spain. So I'm going to talk to you about that when we link up. So coaching's been very, very good since, obviously, the show. Um, now, uh, we are, me and Kenny have joined forces. So I owned Team Adapt, which was the coaching and the team that I had, my guys, my girls. And Kenny owned Team Aesthetics. Now, obviously, throughout this prep, you guys will have seen, me and Kenny have worked so closely together. And that community um, aspect of being involved in each other's journeys, having the support there and the communication there, was something that we wanted to bring to coaching after Spain. So we bashed our heads together, we put our teams together, we created one big hub, and through that we've been able to create education portals to be able to offer our clients education and actually um, guide them and increase their knowledge for themselves. In-person check-ins, we can now run those because there's two of us to help with the amount of people that are there. Our clients now have two sort of avenues of communication, both me, Kenny, professional coaches to be able to help communicate, give different perspectives. So the overall team that we're now building is a very, very driven team. It's not for competitors only. It's for anyone that just wants to develop their physique, that wants to lose any body fat, or wants a better routine, or wants to learn how to train, or wants to be part of something. But what we're managing to create from this has been absolutely epic. So the team of boys, girls that we've got checking in now and that we're working with, honestly, we're having a mint time. It's just such good fun. Um, so if anyone sounds like they want to be part of that, you want to be part of our team, you want to be closely coached by both me, Kenny, and get involved, you know where we are. Um, drop us a message. Look at this. This is Max, my first time. He's never stepped on stage before this, guys. Max is seven weeks out today. So we checked in this morning. He's been getting like a five guys every week because he's massive. Max is like six foot four and weighs a ton. So filling him out, we've found the easiest thing to do is just to give him one big burger and it sorts him out for the week. And he's been dropping after that. So something simple like that works, we don't fix it. So we've got a lot of competitors and we've got a lot of competitors we're prepping to step on stage next year. So. We're expanding this. This isn't just now about my prep, my journey. This is a team thing. This is a community thing. I'm getting just as involved with the rest as the guys and the girls on the team. So it's going to be sick. We're also going to take you to a lot of the shows and stuff next year, I think. So like the last few years of my bodybuilding, everyone's always been like, you're going to win, you're going to win, you're going to win. Like you, I'm always expected to be the winner. I'm not anymore. But what, what, it doesn't matter. Like, it just, like, I get to just enjoy it, look as good as I can look, and, like, have a go again. It's like starting from scratch again, isn't it? Being back at the bottom. And the only place to go from the bottom, mate, is up. It's been horrible having to do shows for so long, thinking, oh, I have to do well in this. Because of the pressures of it, and because of everything else. Whereas going into a show and just thinking, I get to enjoy this for what it is, it's going to be mint. So Jay here is doing a quick tidy up with us. So we can see what he's doing at the minute. We're looking to end this just by the end of October. He's only just started working with me and Kenny, so we can look through his daily tracker and see how he's been getting on with his weights, weighing times, fluid. We can see he could do with a little bit more sleep. And then he can go across and fill out his dietary adherence, his meal cravings, his appetite, the cardio he's done. And he can just give us a little bit of a rating on, on how he found his energy. So we have a full idea of what's going on in his week, and then he can fill out a check-in for us, which can get, answer some questions for some extra information. And then anything that we then need to change on his meal plan, I can do, or his training split, it's all on the same same system. I can edit them, I can send him a loom explaining and going through all of this so that he can see it as I'm going through it. So it's pretty cool. And then it's just much more natural for me to just film a, a loom of me going through every little part of it as opposed to so I don't miss anything because then he's not gonna he's not gonna get to a certain point and go, oh, I don't know what I'm doing here or everything's just covered in the loom. You can go back rewatch it, explains everything he needs to know. So intra for me, been having a few digestion issues with my intra. It gives me a little bit of acid reflux, or a lot of them have been doing. So I'm literally just using EAAs at the minute, and that's that's it in my intra. Nothing else. I'll use about a scoop and a half. Um, this is lemon iced tea. What is it that's been making you fart? 
Just a fart and then the sessions have been pretty bad. No, that's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> it may be this making me fart. It makes your fart practice some kind of stuff. We're using Crank Pump Pro. This is a non stim. Obviously, very good for blood flow, very good for helping with the pump. I do, I am someone that believes in pump pre's being quite beneficial, and I know that a lot of the top coaches, like I've seen Hanny Rambod. Yes uses it with all of his yeah. his and tells them to have it in terms of like helping with stretching Especially the fascia the of the muscle and for ultimate blood flow because we are filming today and we need to be on the money and we can't be tired and we need to have a good session i have this which is the focus pro which it does surprisingly what they say on them that's the pump it's the focus so we're just going to add a little bit of that as well so that we have a lot of focus and that's this is a pre that like you don't get like crazy stimmy from so you're not going to get like the super tingles and, and like jitters or anything like that it's more so like a subtle like how do you describe it like a focus it is like focus a, you're just kind of drawn into the euphoria session. kind of yeah. energetic like mindset kind of way in, as opposed to like your standard like off your face jittery Yesterday I did feel my, my heart rate was up with, which was good. We now have around a 30 minute drive for Rezo. Ready to go train guys. It's chest and arms today, bruv. <laughs> Let's go. Road tripping again. This is actually the first like, um, now that you're back guys, you're inspiring us to actually do stuff. We've been pretty mundane, haven't we recently? Yeah. yeah. This week though, we were just getting into a new routine, weren't we? Yeah, so updates, by the way. Um, let me just finish getting out of this space. Yeah, Kenny competed last week. It was Kenny's show last week. Obviously, you'll remember that we were both in prep together. Result, he won. So that was successful. If you want to see the results of that, go to his Instagram. I'll put it in the description. Um, so you can see the show, what it looked like, all that kind of jazz. The plan is, the basic plan is, I'm not willing to put Kenny back on stage until he's able to now definitely win an overall. And like I was speaking about earlier with Ascend, we kind of combine all that. So his goals are all aligned with the client's goals, team's goals, my goals, we're all working together. So that's what's next in store for Kendog. So we have come down to Reza, which is where me and Kenny actually come a fairish amount. It's like not too far from us over in Hull. So it's really good to come down here, mix up the environment. They've got really, really good equipment in here. Different equipment to we, what we've got access to, where we train, so it's nice to have that little bit of variety. Um, today we're training chest and arms, so it's gonna be a very good session, very enjoyable session, I love this session. So we may stop and take you through some bits and give you some tips and tricks as we do on the way, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna start and just warm up the shoulders first with some lateral raises, jump into them, do a few warm up sets, and then we may catch back up to you as we get into the workout. This is the problem. The only problem we face is picking out what machines we want to use when we do have the variety. Because there's so much choice, it's very hard to choose. That feels amazing. Yeah. Don't um, bring that in, just yeah, keep it wide. Yeah. With our training, right, we, we do train a little bit differently to how training is a lot of the time at the minute. We don't really have a set specific plan of exact exercises that we're going to choose so what me and Kenny do have is an outline of how many sets we want to do what we want to do within them sets whether it be today slightly lighter more reps or on certain exercises how we want to take it we go off how we feel there but for the the main bulk of it we'll know today we want two press machines we want one fly machine the sets will be from anywhere for two to three on each exercise depending on how we feel on each machine and the simple goal is to pick exercises that we know we feel well, we enjoy, and that work the muscle intended. So that could be whatever's appropriate for us at the time, you know? So although a lot of people will specifically pick a barbell press or a specific machine press, we'll mix it up to whatever we feel is gonna be good and whatever machine we like. 
So it's personal preference and that's how we train. So it's always different, it's always mixed up, but the sessions always have the same intent, similar volume, similar structure. It just allows us a little bit more freedom and we think we get more out of the physiques that way. And I would actually say, don't you agree, that our physiques have trained and improved oh, yeah. since having that? Yeah, because it's enjoyment as well. We know what muscle groups we want to target, we know our rep ranges, we know our sets, but feeling the muscle work is so important. So selecting the movement where you're going to connect best with it is definitely key for us. You're only a good training partner if you complement each other's training yeah. outfits. <laughs> Come on, let's go Kenny. Drive out. Yeah, again. Oh, come on, bro. Ah. Oh. Don't give your training partner reps. You see that? See how much you had to work for that oh. shit? Make sure, especially now Kenny's in the gaining phase, right? He's got to stimulate that muscle to grow. I ain't helping him do that. If he's got in that position, let him grind that shit out. You're a better training partner for letting your training, other training partners suffer more than you are for helping all the time. Only help when it's really needed. Come on. And again. Come on, we work. More, let's go. Yep, 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 we've got another. Come on, will ya? Fucking work for this, come on. Push, push. Yes. We've hit the top portion of our chest initially using the incline. Now, what I'm trying to do is just use something where I'm able to get my chest just easily from the fully lengthened position, which is here, to the fully shortened position, which is in here. Now, the good thing about a cable is you've got complete freedom of the elbows and the hands. So whatever position you need to put your arms and hands in to get that full, fully shortening of the pec, the lengthening you can do on here whilst keeping stable because you've got the upright part of the seat. So it's good to stick it. All the way. That's take it partial Oh because that was fatiguing the chest quite quickly actually. This is the good thing about intuitively training. Because we just recognized there that that was fatiguing us quite quickly. Two sets have done a lot of damage and we want to get, hit some other areas, do some different variations in the workout. We're now going to move to a fly because with us pressing this way and driving the bicep across here, now with a fly, the hand can face this way. The fibers of the chest run across, so you're directly pulling across and in line. So it's hitting from a different angle. Now we're just doing a couple of sets just to finish the chest off. So it's just literally a case of thinking of anything we haven't really done yet. We're hitting it kind of like a hammer press style, nice and tight to the chest, and just driving as much blood in the last two sets in the chest as we can. So we might not even do full reps here. It is literally just what we feel, just to finish off, drive blood in there, fill it up, get the pump, and then we're gonna move on to arms. Show you a physique check after. Some supersets today. Not a lot of people do supersets. We just finished last 
last bicep with a superset, three sets. Last tricep, three sets of a superset. And that's just to ultimately, today we just felt like flushing a shit ton of blood in the arms. And supersets are a great way to pack in a shitload of volume, a shitload of reps, and a shitload of blood into the muscle really quick. So I don't know why they've gone out of fashion. Me and Kenny still use all sorts of that within that, like that in our training. It's stuff that I've always been brought up using throughout the years that I've been in bodybuilding, drop sets, supersets, rest pause sets, even triceps and and all every every variation we used to chuck into almost any workout just to make it a bit more intense. That's still stuff me and Kenny do just randomly within our workouts. And we program it like that as well for our clients. Our workouts that we program, I'd say uh they're probably some of the most challenging workouts you'll see. So if you fancy trying any, make sure you drop me and Kenny a message and get us through your programming. <laughs> and that is how it should be, right? The intent to fucking smash any muscle that you're training to pieces. Fill it full of blood. Get to the point where you can't move it. Absolutely annihilate the shit out of it. Because the thing is, right? If there's one assure, sort of a insurance policy with training, is that as long as you go in the gym and you actually bust your bollocks, you're gonna get something out of it. So, the first thing you need to learn how to do is train with intensity. That's actually a priority, I would say, over 100% um, execution. Intensity, execution, enjoyment is the order that it should go in. So this is Kenny coming out of his prep, going into his reverse phase. Now the approach we've decided to take with Kenny has been different to most people because what we often like to do is at the end of the prep is allow ourselves enough time within the prep so that the right back end can be focused on recovery and building calories back up. So actually when Kenny finished his prep, he was on more food and resting more than what most people are, which meant now after prep, we've been able to pump food straight up go straight back into the gym and actually use these initial weeks to be able to fuel and force some growth because that's where his body's going to be the most responsive as long as the fatigue's not present we were clever enough to get rid of that first before the shows now we've got a clear runway to be able to grow for him this is is it eight weeks out does anyone know eight Weighing around 107-ish kilo at the minute. So reasonably heavy-ish. Looking all right, feel all right. I think I've got still quite a fair bit to lose, um, but we have eight weeks. So I think this is a decent place to be in for that time, I'd say. So I'm pretty happy with it. There's nothing much to worry about. Boss man, are you happy with where we're at? Big up to uh, improvements, particularly through here, if you turn around. And all in through there. Look how much thicker this is. So much thicker through here. Looks are always crazy, but 
that density for the side there is what we have to keep. That's what's new, so that's the priority to keep so that. We know, we know my strength is never going to be size. I'm never going to be the biggest guy on stage. We know that mine is going to be the shape. I've got that X frame, small waist, especially when I'm hitting the shots like this. So Abs here. That's a strong point. Although I am still flat across here a little bit, that'll come as I start to lean off a little bit, get that a little bit tighter. The PEDs that we're using kick in and fill me out a little bit more. So, yeah, good place to be, I'd say. Everything's held pretty well. Um, considering the entire prep last time was a nine week prep in total and only seven weeks until the first show, and I've got longer than that left now, and I'm already here. I'd say, you know, yeah, I'd say that's a, a decent place to be. We've done this. This is why we've done it, because it's not too hard, you know. Um, and the plans for the rest of the day is eat, chill, and then tomorrow I get a burger and fries. So, happy days. Vlog number one. Complete. Back in business. We don't know what we're going to call this series yet. We're going to brainstorm. You'll know what it's called, because it'll be on the title of the video. But we're going to think it's a bit cool. Um, I might ask them some suggestions on IG actually. So that is episode one, just getting you introduced back into a training session, um, me and Kenny getting back moving, doing the same shit we were doing, and basically just reintroducing the YouTube, getting you back following the journey with its pro debut, onto Prague, onto potentially Austria after that. We've got some big things in the works. So we're gonna get a lot planned for this series. Stay tuned for the rest of the episodes because they only get better from here. So make sure if you haven't already, you are subscribed, we're nearly, at, we're not that far away, I know we're only at 700, but I see that as quite close to 1,000, right? We can get 1,000, so, so if we can get 1,000 subs by the end of the year, that's that's a big goal. I know it's not a lot for a lot of people, but for me, that'd be, that'd be awesome. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, share it, tag us, put it on your IG, whatever you can do to spread it, and we'll keep bringing out better videos, more videos, we'll take you on along for the ride. So, we'll see you on the next episode.